Well, we have a online auction pickup this morning that I'm getting to work and uh, look forward to that. Look forward to doing anything that uh, allows me to be involved and appreciate the Gary's at Gary Realty and Auction letting me help out with this uh, endeavor today, kind of being some backbone and muscle lifting furniture. That's going to be my job today, but hey, I love it. I'm looking forward to it. I wanted to kind of talk to you guys real quick about something that uh, some people have asked, uh, you know, we've got a couple of really good contests coming up. The IAC obviously is coming up. Battle of the Bluegrass will be coming up in the late summer, early fall. Um, a lot of really good contests are coming up and uh, people have asked, are, are you gonna compete in these? And the, simp the, the quick answer is no. Um, I don't think anyone deserves an explanation, but I'm gonna give you one. And uh, it's not really as complicated of a reason as you might think. So I have competed in the Battle of Bluegrass, uh, I did last year and got second. And then the IEC I've never competed in. I had a chance to go as the Tennessee state champion, but uh, decided not to. And it has nothing to do with not wanting to compete. Um, in fact, it has nothing to do with, uh, you know, not, not competing when you're at your top or whatever because I competed in the WLAC quarterfinal and got stomped. So if that's the last contest that I ever do, I'm going out on a losing streak. Um, but here's, here's the deal, guys. This is why I quit competing. When I was growing up, I had to take a hunter safety course. And the teacher of that hunter safety course told us there are levels to outdoorsmanship. The first level is when you learn how to shoot a gun and if it's brown, it's down. It doesn't matter if it's a button buck, it doesn't matter if it's you know, little, if it's a spike or whatever, if it's brown, it's down, if it flies, it dies. And you're just eager to, to get something for your work. And I kind of think that when you start competing, that's how, that's your mentality. Like maybe you don't want, you want to win, but as, as long as you get a plaque, as long as you get a, a check, you know, that's, that's good enough for you. And I was that way for several years. And then you move up where you're like, okay, now I'm more serious about it. I still want to get something, but I want it to be a trophy. And that's where I was when I was fortunate enough to win Mule Day and the Tennessee State Contest and even get second at Battle of the Bluegrass. And I was like, you know what? I, I want to go out. I want to do my best. I'm here to win. If I don't win, fine, but I want a, a buckle to take home or I want the trophy to take home. And then the third stage is when you just enjoy being outdoors and you enjoy taking people hunting and fishing and you would rather see them get the trophy and have them uh, do well than you would. You just want to be there to help them. And honestly, guys, that's where I am with auction contest. I, I'm at a point now where I would rather help other people develop their skills and their craft than me go compete. Uh, I, I'm a natural teacher. I, I, that's what I do for a living. I teach the Bible. Um, I, I'm a natural student. Um, I'm, I'm working on a PhD and just started my dissertation, which also says that I don't have enough time really to get out and do those type things uh, like compete in auction contest. I don't have the time or the money just to be completely honest. But um, I, that's just where I'm at now. You know, I don't, I don't need the buckles. I don't, I don't need the trophies. I don't need the competition to keep that spark alive in me. I, what I need is to see other people, people that I know and love that I've been able to give a little bit of advice to. And, you know, I like going to contests and rooting for my friends. Like I, I'm so excited that here in a couple of days, the WLAC is going to be happening, and I've, I've been fortunate to make friends uh, with those guys who compete, and many of them I look up to, just really seriously look up to, and it is going to be all of my pleasure to get to root for them. Would I like to be there? Yeah, maybe, um, you know, but I, I'm at a point now in my life where I would much rather see other people succeed. So why am I not going to the Battle of the Bluegrass this year? Why did I not enter the IAC? Why, uh, why will I not go to another WLAC quarterfinal? I'm not saying that I'll never compete again. 
there might be an opportunity where a contest comes up and you might see my name on the list. But as of right now, it's not that I don't want to compete. It's just I don't need to. I had two contests that I wanted to win, and that was the Mule Day Contest and the Tennessee State Contest. And by the grace of God and uh, hard work, I was blessed to win both of those in the same year. And uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm done, you know? That's all I wanted to do. So now I just have the, really the joy of getting to watch other people. So that's really all it is, guys. And uh, I appreciate everyone's thoughts and, and encouragement as I try to uh, encourage and build up other young auctioneers or new auctioneers. Um, I'm thankful that God has given me this opportunity, and, and I hope that it's been a blessing to, to you and, and to others. So that's what I enjoy doing. So I'm going to keep doing it. And uh, I know not everyone thinks this is something that I should be doing. They've made that very clear. But you know what? Uh, as long as it's a blessing to someone, I'm going to keep doing it. Okay? So uh, with that, guys, just a little personal video, but uh, I'll see you in uh, the next one.